Welcome to the video. In this video, I'm going to be talking about Flask WTF, uh, basically Flask uh, validation. How, how can you do, <coughs> excuse me, how can you do validations on um, uh, forms with Flask WTF? I'm also going to talk about how you can add your own JavaScript whenever that form is not validated or basically whenever uh, it shows any error, right? So let's get started without wasting much of time. Let's get started. All right. Um, so in order to first of all, uh, show you what I'm about to uh, teach you first, let me just open my Chrome and uh, go to the website that I've just created. All right, so just, I'm, I'm gonna go on my local. So I'm just giving you a tour what we are going to learn in this video, right? Right. So let me go here. So I've added some very nice validation here. You can see it says this field uh, is required. Uh, so if I just do this way, Again, I have a very nice validation saying field must be between 4 to 25 characters, fail to match regex. So, yeah. But if I enter uh, the stuff correctly and, and, and then say submit, then of course it should work, right? This red uh, label should go away. Uh, technically, that's what we are expecting. So, I just said the submit button. Now it's going to take time because it's going to process my request on the back end, right? Uh, I'm, I'm not sure if the internet is working right now. Uh, may or may, maybe or may not be. All right, so let's learn how to do. Oh, all right, so that's here yeah, you can see now the form has no longer the red border. How did I do that, right? So let's learn that. All right, so I'm gonna go to my, uh, so I'm using an MVC architecture, model view and controller architecture in Flask, right? Uh, so I'm gonna go to my views right here. I'm gonna go right from scratch, don't worry. Give me one sec. Let me just, uh, yes, right here. Let me go to my forms.py. That's where my validation is. So first of all, you have to install this library. It is not uh, pre-installed in Flask, right? So you can do pip install Flask WTF. So what I did is basically you need something like this from WTF forms dot validators import data required then you can say from WTF uh, forms import validators. So these are the two stuff that we require. Now it's your normal forms that you create. So here you can see I have a name field. That's a string field label equals to GitHub username. This is basically where the people will enter. Now here comes the set of validator. It has to be inside a list, right? So here you can see I said data required. Then I said validator dot length minimum equals to four maximum equals to 25. So I specify the minimum length. Then I also specified a regular expression basically. So validator dot regects. I give my regex and if that fails, what I want to display right message. Now, how can I display these error messages on the uh, front end? So let me walk you through that as well. So about dot HTML is where I did all the stuff. So this is the main stuff if form dot name dot errors. So basically, if I again go to my views dot pi, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, that's uh, sorry, views dot py. Oh, sorry, it was forms dot py, I said. All right, so I have a form known as name, right? So on my front end, I just say if forms dot name dot errors. So if you if this condition is true, then create a ul of class errors, right? Then I said for errors in form dot name dot errors, I'm just creating a list element. I'm display displaying all the errors here. You can see my for loop ends right here. And I also want to do a custom JavaScript. So I added a script tag inside the if statement right here, which is only going to execute if there are any errors, right? So I select the text box, say it's document dot query selector text box. And then I say border style, right? So I added my nice uh, little CSS border, right? Uh, let me just go a little up. My mouse is frozen currently. Sorry for that. All right. So if I go up to my, so here you can see I have an ID called as te text box. I'm just selecting uh, the JavaScript is basically selecting the text box and creating a nice border. And at the end, don't forget to say, end if right so i did that 
So that's the small code that I did for form validation. Uh, so if you have enjoyed this form validation tutorial or in Flask, uh, please do let me know. If you have any more questions, please uh, let them know in the comment section below. I would be very happy to answer all your questions. As usual, thank you for your love, support, keep learning, keep smiling, keep coding Python. Uh, and I'm gonna create a lot of tutorials now on JavaScript, jQuery, Flask, and, and slowly, slowly moving to Django. Thank you so much for watching. See you guys in the next video.